I'm Steve Purcell from M6 Aero Media and today we're going to be talking about the Feutech A2000 Gimbal. It's coming up after this intro and short piece of B-roll. So if you're watching this video, the chances are you already know what a gimbal is, but just in case, I'll explain a little bit about what a gimbal is and does. Well, you know when you see that beautiful buttery smooth footage, generally a gimbal or a stabiliser has been used to create that, and up until very recently, a gimbal was in the realms of the professional filmmaker. But that's now all changed. Over the last few years, the price of a gimbal has significantly dropped, making them much more affordable for the everyday user. Let's take, for example, the Feutech A2000, which I'm reviewing. Not only do you get this standard run and gun pistol grip, but for a little over £500, it also comes with a dual handle grip. So what's the best way to test a gimbal? Well there's nothing better than the vlogging test. I'm currently walking, hand holding the camera and I'm going to connect the Feutech A2000 and just compare how stable the footage is compared to handheld. Because at the end of the day that's what a gimbal is all about, it's to make your footage look beautiful, buttery and smooth. So I'm just going to swap over now to the Feutech A2000. So I've now connected the camera to the Feutech A2000 and hopefully you're seeing a massive difference in the quality of the footage. Hopefully everything behind me is stable. Now I wouldn't generally use a gimbal to vlog with, it's far too heavy to carry around but it's a good, really good indication of how stable the footage is using it in a vlogging scenario. So as you've just seen, the Feutech A2000 does a pretty good job of stabilising the footage. Little micro movements up and down, but you get that with any gimbal. So it's a thumbs up on stabilising from me. Would I use it to vlog with? I don't think anyone would use a gimbal to vlog with. Much too heavy to carry around, unless you've got huge guns. There's no point in carrying it around. Um, Cinematic footage does a fantastic job. Everything's beautiful, buttery smooth. There's also a motion time lapse feature which is something I use quite a lot and uh, I've just done a little bit of a motion time lapse in the garden here I'll show you that now so yeah pretty much everything about the Feutech A2000 is positive Big thumbs up from me. A couple of negatives. First one being the little tripod that comes. Now whilst it is adequate, it will do the job. It's not what I would call a safe tripod. All it needs is a larger footprint to stretch out a little bit further to make it more stable. The 
other negative, and it's something I've kind of found a fix for, is a lot of people are saying about the vibrations of the motors, and yes, there is vibrations in the motors, but if you balance the camera to the best of your ability, that reduces it. And then what I've recently found out was, is within the Feiyu On app, you can adjust the strength of the motors, and it takes a little bit of dialing in, but once you get it nailed, the vibration just totally goes. So that's more user error than, than fault of the, the Feiyutech A2000. So yes, there's a couple of little issues with the Feiyutech A2000, nothing major. Um, the tripod, I think Feiyutech should look at replacing that with something more sturdy. The, the vibrations from the motors, as I say, user error mainly, and uh, quite fixable. My biggest concern, and it, again, it's something Feiyutech should look at, I think quite an easy fix, is the Feiyu On app. Let me explain. So whilst the app is functional, it's just not user friendly. I think Feiyutech could do so much more with the app. All it takes is one of the developers to take a little bit more time and make it a little bit more user friendly. And for me, I use quite a lot of motion time lapse. And whilst the app does allow you to do that, it's very basic. Um, if you look at the new DJI Ronin S app that's included with that, you can set waypoints on the motion time lapse. So the camera just doesn't go from left to right, right to left, up and down. You can go with a mixture of those. You can plot it to go up to go back down, to move to the right, to move to the left, to move up, to move down. So much more interest in a motion time lapse when there's motion included. So I'm not a big fix for the Feu Tech engineers to do. It's something I think they should roll out in the next update. So in conclusion, would I recommend the Feu Tech A2000? And without any hesitation, yes I would. I think it's a fantastic gimbal. It does what it says on the tin. A couple of tweaks needed to the tripod and definitely to the app and it would be fantastic. I would take it over the Zion Crane any day of the week. It's £200 cheaper than the DJI Ronin S, so it's a no-brainer to me. Anyway, if you've enjoyed watching this video, please smash that like button with a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Let me see what you think about the Zion Crane, the DJI Ronin S and the Feiyutech A2000. I'd love to see your opinions. Also, if you don't already, why don't you consider subscribing to this channel? Hit that notification bell and you'll know when I upload new content and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.